Right, hello. Um, we're doing we're doing a video, I suppose. Bit of a, I don't know, bit of a pointless. Not pointless, but we're just doing what we do. Anyway, right, we got this book for Christmas, right, called Why Do Men Have Nipples? And what what's <laughs> why do men have nipples? Well, we know well, why. We're about to find well, out. I know why I read the book. And there's like a little kind of sentence after it saying things you'd only ask a doctor after your third gin and tonic, right? I'd so, ask him anything. Stone I mean, and we've had about three ciders anyway, so we're feeling a little bit like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, he, she's a five. So yeah, so we're doing a video, basically based on this book, and what you've done is you've looked through it and she's read it all bless her because she's a sad eh? and uh, <laughs> and she's Kill you later, babe. Come and on. she's um basically come up with loads of questions and she's going to ask me the questions and i don't know what they're going to be and i've got to answer them based on what i think they might be and then she'll tell me the answer later so we're not sure how this is going to go it might be absolutely shit but it might be funny as fuck so we'll find out so we'll, we'll, go, we'll give it a go we'll give it a go and we would like to just uh first off as well um in advance um this is the book and the authors are Mark Lena and Billy Goldberg, MD, who um, actually, um, you know, put all the books together. So um, I, I believe it's just kind of polite or yeah. copyright purposes. To We're tell using you who they are. <laughs> that's what the book is. Well done, is. guys, as well. You made a good book. <laughs> yeah, well done. Well done. <laughs> right. We're loving it. Right. Okay. Off to go then. Okay. Hang on. Sit that in the bin. Oh. Down there. Right. Okay. Right. So, okay, this right, point, I can't look at this point as well. I'm going to ask her a question and then we're going to see if she either knows the answer or we'll actually find out what the truth is. And um, so it's pretty kind of cool. I'm going to start with something, you know, that's non offensive and hopefully, you know, Blah, 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 blah. Right, okay. What causes brain freeze? We've all had brain freeze in McDonald's when we've set some milkshake. Drop whatever flavour, baby. <laughs> and we've gone. <laughs> and then gone. Oh! And you've only just come out and through the straw. Yeah. So, what causes, what brain, causes brain freeze? What causes brain freeze? Um, oh god, I don't know. Because it doesn't actually, it kind of happens in your chest as well. It does for me if I'm like not knowing. Well, well, think well. about the brain the science side. Um, science I don't brain know. Brain. See, I've got this image in my head of this like. Sorry, advert. Hannah, I'm now going to give you lung cancer, Karen. Yeah, sorry. Um, anyway, I've got this. <laughs> it's actually to do with this, right? I've got this image in my head of this advert that was on a few years ago. And it was about like all these little things running around in your head when you're craving nicotine. Like all these like yeah. little like things just running, and in my head, it was kind of like those exist, but when you get brain freeze, like those little things get attacked by the cold, and that's brain freeze. Right. Okay. Uh, but that would only work if you're a smoker and like little kids get brain. Freeze. That's just what came to mind straight away. So why do you actually get brain freeze? <clears throat> Bit of a shit answer. <laughs> At this point, I feel like I should put some reading glasses on, but I actually have really good eyesight. Nothing else works. <laughs> My eyes work. It's all the broccoli. Okay, right, go to on. To cut a long story short, which you know, there's actually <laughs> the answers are two theories. Okay? Okay. Right. Um, one Please theory. Please do cut it short. Yeah, I will. <laughs> one theory is that essentially the pain is in the sinuses um, because of the rapid cooling effect. Mm. So when you take the suck on the straw the suck. and it suits... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't laugh at the word suck. It's not that funny and this is not a dirty video. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it will turn dirty. It just, um, yeah. So essentially... It triggers the local pain receptors right. in your yeah in the sinus area, hence brain freeze because it's in your head. What's in your head? Hopefully a brain. 
um, debatable. <laughs> Deba yeah, it's a word can be debatable, but we won't debate that. <laughs> another video, another time. Um, <laughs> another theory is that the constriction of blood vessels in the roof and rear of mouth causes pain receptors to overload and refer the pain to your head. There's a nerve centre there in the back of your mouth called, I cannot say that word, is what it's called. Seriously. Should we show them how it's spelled? No. I'll do. <laughs> Let me show you. No, because we'll be here forever and I've got four more questions to ask you. Um, but that's what causes it. Thank so you. essentially, yeah, but that's quite a boring a way, answer. But hang you. on, a really good way to actually, um, if you get it, a good way to cure it is rub your tongue on the roof of your mouth like that. Yeah, when that happens, um, and that apparently cures the brain freeze or can cure it. End of question. So, <laughs> right, thanks for that. There we go. Right, next, next, next. Right, I'm not allowed to look again, right? Actually, I'm going to ask you um, a bit of a dirty one first. We'll do clean one, dirty one. Yeah, yeah, clean like boy, one. girl, boy, yeah. girl in primary school. Yeah, sad. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Go on then. Right, is it true? I don't know, is it true? <laughs> men. Talk about men. Oh, yeah. And... All you ever wanted to know about sex. Is it true? Big hands. Big. Oh. <laughs> big hands, big feet, big meat. Big. Big. Yeah, yeah. Big hands, big. Meat. Meat. Is um, it true? Um, yes. Yes, I would actually say it is true. Because you've been around the block. <laughs> Blimey, girl. No, from. I'm joking, from... she hasn't been around the block. <laughs> From the little By the experience, yes. Well, yeah, yes, yeah. Because everything's in proportion, isn't it? Not, not in my experience. Actually, saying that, have you seen Duffy's penis? For my life, <laughs> it's like a fucking baseball bat. So in that, in that case, no. But yes, at the same time, I'd say big hands, big feet, big meat. And if you've got tiny hands, then yeah, you, you're unfortunate. Yeah, you answer it. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is no evidence that hand size is related to the size of your package. Package. Which makes sense probably for Daffy. When it comes to foot size, two urologists in a study in the British Journal of Urology, measured the stretched penile length of 104... Stretched. 104 what? Men. Oh. <laughs> I was like you meant And related like, this Christ. to their shoe size. <laughs> yeah. They found there was no relationship. Oh. As for other size issues, a small penis yeah. expands more than one big one during your action. So growers and showers, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and since the woman's sexually sensitive parts are in and around the outer third of the vagina, God, I didn't even know my vagina had sections. Um, <laughs> they do. Essentially, the, last, the last line in this packet. <laughs> Not like packet. that. Okay, I'll, I'll like draw a I understand, I know. Uh, <laughs> we'll I'll go to Google. I don't know. The last line. Yeah, go on. Size doesn't really matter, ladies. They all fit. Wow. 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 Let's go on to the next question. <laughs> this video is going to go on forever. Yes. If we. I want another read. Right, do another read one. Oh, another we'll read done. one. Okay. And then we'll be done. I say yeah. One more read one. Oh, actually, this is it's not read, but actually, I find it quite interesting. Yeah, go on. Why do men wake up in the morning with an erection? I actually know. Oh, someone told me the answer to this. It's probably me. Probably. Um, when I read the book. Why do men wake up in the morning? I already texted you and went, oh. Um, but I didn't. Because dreams only last 
like for two seconds or something and they always happen like right in the REM moments of sleep yeah like yeah the rapid eye movement yeah which is the latter moment your late yeah 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 final phase of yeah yeah normal yeah so yeah carry on girl and well let's face it men just want to sow their seed everywhere don't they so they're <laughs> within reason that wasn't a link we know recent I mean. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, oh god, now we can't put this on YouTube. <laughs> no, we can because um, we haven't offended anybody. We're not talking personally about anybody. We've mentioned no names, and I'm actually physic physically, <laughs> I'm mentally not actually thinking about anybody. I'm thinking factually because of this book. So we're fine. Right. Carry so on. why do men wake up with a bone? Um. <laughs> I said erection. You said that. Oh my god. Bring, bring it down. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. It's alright. It's alright. Phone it. Just, just come on. Think logically. Why would men wake up with an erection? Um, I don't know. Um, they just really need a wank. It's been twelve hours since their last wank, so they need to wank. What if they've had a wet dream? You know, well, where they, they don't, don't do it every them. morning, do they? I don't know. Is, I don't it, know. is, it, is it your libido is the highest in the morning, maybe? Shall I tell you the answer? <laughs> yeah, just, just tell me the answer. Libido. <laughs> libido. <laughs> libido. <laughs> then she's saying boner, and then she comes out with, like, you know, libido. Yeah, you know, so one minute she's like, you know, trashy, next minute she's like, oh, I'm so educated. The actual answer, according... No, it's going to school in Solly Hall and then going to college in Warwickshire. It's just like half of it. Yeah, both very affluent areas, yeah, darling. Yeah, but Solly Hall's just jabby, isn't it? Anyway, sorry. Can be. Right. No offence if you live there. I, used I live. To, I, I, live I, there. I, I live there. It's I used fine. to live there. I now. I'm not telling you where I live in case I've offended anybody. Else, I haven't. She has. Right. <laughs> well, that's okay. A boner. <laughs> She's a boner. Right. Okay. Right. Just tell me why men wake up with a boner. There are many. A uh, little, little, little. Okay. Why do men wake up in the morning with an erection? Erections are experienced in the REM, rapid eye movement, yeah. phase of sleep. REM sleep is more frequent just before waking up. Hence, you know, bonus. why you wake up with a bit. Because you've got me the same bonus. <laughs> Erections can also... It's okay. Erections can also happen as other times without any stimulus. There is no scientific reason, people, men, women, anyone... Yeah, because women get bonus all the time. Oh, they do awful when women just have a brain. <laughs> um, why these spontaneous erections seem to happen in the most embarrassing places, parties, holidays, movies, weddings, fu funerals. Funeral. <gasps> Imagine, yeah. Actually, do you know, if I, no, do I'm never going to go there because, no, I haven't got a story. Well, I haven't sure. got a penis, so I haven't got a story <laughs> about a bone at a funeral. I do have bone at <laughs> Professor Lena has written <laughs> extensively on the subject. This is quite... Essentially, it's the answer we said. Um, because, um, yeah, the, the rapid eye movement, phase of sleep... How can your eyes move and cause a boner, though? Because that's the time when you're, you're most likely to have dreams. So, because... Often men have dreams that are sexually... That's what I said, because men want to sow their seed everywhere, so they're well, just always horny, yeah. aren't they? They're always horny. And it's been 12 but hours since their last one. The reason anyway, they so. might wake up with an erection is because if dreams happen in the latter part of sleep, which is the rapid eye movement part, mm. then, and that's at the end, then if they've had a horny yeah, dream... But... They'll wake up with... But like, you probably get them even when you have a... Because I'm even dream. doing the hand actions <laughs> now. Oh, God, this yeah, but you mad. probably do get them, even if you haven't had a sexy dream. Yeah, like when you've been around seeing Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the video now. Right. 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 Thank that's you for listening. That's why men have nipples. Yeah. Bye, Love guys. you so. Bye. <laughs>
It won't stop. It oh, won't stop. stop it. I can't stop. Hey.